Hi, this is Suzanne and I'm a Chinese metaphysics master in Hong Kong. A few days ago I was talking to you about enhancing your peach blossom luck with feng shui. Now what if you don't need to enhance your peach blossom luck but you would like to prevent an affair from happening or you sus suspect an affair is already ongoing and you want to throw a wrench in that, into that. Yes, feng shui can help. I mean, it's not the only thing. I wouldn't rely on Chinese metaphysics only, but it can definitely help as well. It can be one part of how you solve this type of problem. So what you need is the peach blossom energy direction of your partner, the one you are suspecting of having an affair. Again, you either Google that, you enter the date and time of birth, and you just look for peach blossom direction. And it will give you a direction that is either south, north, east, or west. And then you check on the floor plan of your home and you check your partner's peach blossom direction. First of all, you have to remove all water that is currently present, if any. So if you have an aquarium there, you have to remove it. Yeah, any sort of water feature needs to be removed. And secondly, you then need to block or somehow uh, throw obstacles into the way of these types of energies, which means you go ahead and clutter that area. Yeah, you clutter your partner's peach blossom energy. You put old items there, heavy items, as much clutter as you can. Obviously, it's not going to look pretty, but you know, it's just to achieve that one goal you want to achieve stopping the affair or at least weakening that type of energy that leads to the affair. So block your partner's peach blossom energy by blocking that sector altogether. Yeah, And then once you've done that, uh, you have to work with other methods, of course. Feng Shui is not the end all be all, yeah? but it can help in the process of weakening uh, what's already going on. All right. So I hope you don't actually have to use this method, but uh, if in case, now you know how.